Welcome back my fellow duplicates here to Oxygen Not Included. Today we're going to focus here on this steam vent. So this steam vent is putting out 131 grams a second at 500 degrees Celsius. Now the thing is, we want to cool that steam down so that we can actually get the water out of it. The great way to do that is using a steam turbine here. So this is pulling from a video called Automating the Steam Turbine for Maximum Efficiency. So we can actually play around with the ports on the bottom side of a steam turbine in order to get the maximum amount of power out of it without wasting thermal energy. And since this steam vent here puts out at 500 degrees Celsius, this automation sequence will be really valuable. Okay, so in order to tap into this, what I want to do is have uh, insulation on the outside of here. And essentially then I'm going to have the turbine up top. But before that, I also want to have a space for all of these doors. Now I think it's fairly straightforward just to take the steam run it through the turbine and then actually store the liquid on the out uh, on the back side of this whole operation now today's build should be fairly straightforward because essentially what i'm going to have here is a five tile wide chamber and then i'll have several doors on top and then the steam turbine on top of that however we will need to keep that steam turbine cold uh, or at least colder than 100 degrees celsius in order to continue to have it operate just like we're doing up here we could probably use the, either the cold biome nearby or or maybe we want to use some other things. We do have this natural gas geyser right here, which I could run several natural gas generators as well. Uh, it's just building up pressure right now, so we'll just have to kind of see what happens with that. But for right now, just today, trying to keep things simple, what we're just going to do here is tap into the steam vent and then automate kind of the sequence that it has to go through in order to be nice and efficient. Now this little Pashu here looks like he's looking for a place to go. So let's go ahead and just kind of dig this down. Where's a good spot for some more buddy bud? I tell you what, right here, right in the middle of where everybody's sleeping would be a good spot for it. Okay, so I'm just gonna make these doors out of iron because they can deal with the temperature. Although it's not like it's that crazy of temperature, so. Okay, so here's what I know what I want. Essentially, I'm going to have a space for automation down here. And this is going to be for temperature, so that's like the first thing I want to set up. So, it'll be like that. Ah! No, game! Not all of that! Please! <laughs> okay, the next thing I want here is going to be the doors on top of that. So, just like that. And then I should have some ceramic nearby. Aha! Yes! Perfect. We'll build ceramic right there. And then up top, we can put the turbine. Now, for the automation between this... Just connect it like so. And there is one other thing that I, I like to do, usually just to help the input temperature here, is use temperature shift plates right down here. It just kind of helps to uh, even out the temperature so that the temperature that you're sensing and the temperature that's going into the turbine happen to be the same. Now, diamond is pretty cool in that it has a mass of thermal conductivity of 80 with a specific heat capacity of 0.5. How does that compare to iron? Mmm, very similar. As far as its capacity that's more or less what i was looking at there so i'm just going to use diamond right down here and we'll just fill that space right there with diamond so i dug up diamond when i when i came down here you can see that there's lots and lots of it right there okay dupes i'm going to need you to side shuffle a little bit here and get rid of the rest of this ladder i know you're playing a dangerous game but look at him he's actually deconstructing the ladder as it goes down what you're the best duplicate ever oh no never mind darn it just when i said that you're free <laughs> All right, I'll leave a door down there so that I can actually get in to clear this stuff out. I'll probably use that door to create a, a vacuum as well so I can kind of get rid of all of this polluted oxygen in here as well. As far as insulation, it looks like I have enough ceramic, so I, I might just make use of that. Yes, yes I do. Ha ha. That's good. At least it won't be so big. Stinky, bud. You can definitely get over there. There you go. All right, go ahead and dig into here, dupes. Ha ha. Secret of doors. Once you have one, you can kind of like just like run through them. Let's see here, do we have room for this buddy bud? Oh, wow, look at all those buddy buds I have. Ooh, even better. Let's see if I can put another one right there. Oh, and there was a recommendation to leave this side open so the dupes don't have to run over the top. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So I'll make sure to make that happen. We could just deconstruct that. Boom. There. <laughs> I'm just reworking these ladders just a little bit here. Actually, I think I want the ladder on this side. There we go. There's the ladder and there's the fire pole. So now the dupes can get down there and up relatively easy. Okay, so here's the idea for the pump. Mm, can't make a mini gas pump, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just have to go with the big pump. But I'll put that right there. And then I could just kind of pipe that out. 
And this, I could open up this door here and just pull a vacuum out of it. So I'll just use like a hydro sensor down here and click some automation to it. Ah. And then cancel this stuff because I still need to have a door there. This is all temporary. This stuff will just be used for a little bit and then, then it'll go away. So I'll just put the other door right there. And there we go. Now we have a way to get in. And we have a way to pull a vacuum and we have a way to get out. Except that that vent is going to be overpressured. So let's see if I can... I'll tell you what. I'm going to wrangle up this glossy Draco. I'll shear him and then I'll bring him back over here. How's the hydrogen system doing? Ooh, we're just over 100 degrees now. Excellent. And now we can see that the water is getting close to 95, so pretty soon we might have some steam in here. The other thing I'll probably do over here, since I have uh, close access to all of this crude oil, I'm thinking plastic production will probably happen in this area. Not only that, it's close to power and you need power for plastic production, so I think it just, it seems almost natural just to do the production on this side of the base all of a sudden, you know? Because I'm doing all the metal up here, Got all the steam up there, and then I have all the apartments and whatnot over here on the left. Which makes me think I probably should have put this over on the other side of the base, but whatever. Maybe this side over here will be just rockets and stuff. Not only that, we're gonna make some good use out of this leaky oil fissure. Oh, and there's another cool steam vent. There's just a, a thousand things to build. <laughs> Play more, Brothgar! Just keep playing! Constantly! And editing, and, and uploading, and just don't sleep. Whatever you do, don't sleep. All right, I have to rework my, all of my priorities here because they're just, my dupes are running all over the place. Okay, who, who is my, who's my rancher? Oh my gosh, look at all these skills. I haven't touched this for a while. All right, it makes a lot of sense for my super dupes to have the ability to dig very fast. So I think that makes a lot of sense. And to build as well. Although I would say Super Meep would be a great mechatronics engineer because that way I can do conveyor rail construction. So let's see here. Do you have enough skills for that? Ooh, not yet. Do you have anybody that has enough skills? Kaya has that. Perfect. Bam. There you go. Switch out your hat. This would be cool. Now I can do like shipping and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Automated delivery. So we got the glossy Draco. So I want to put you over here just for a little bit. We'll turn the priority up on the shearing station. There we go. Come on, Glossy. Aha! Perfect. All right, so we got the plastic out of that. Excellent. So let's go ahead and wrangle that guy. Get rid of the Glossy over here. So now I have a high-pressure gas vent, so I can stick that right there, which means we can pull vacuum in this area. All right, so check this out. The natural gas geyser up here has built up 33 kilograms worth of natural gas up there. The pressure down here has gone up a little bit. It went up from 600 to right around 800 or so. So we may see a point where this actually backs up and just and then overpressures. But for right now, look at that. Look at all that. It's a huge amount of natural gas. I've heard somebody in the comments say that they set up a similar thing and was able to get this over to 700 before it had an issue and flowed backwards uh, across the wheeze ward. Excellent. So now I've got a gas pump and I can kind of just go ahead and clear that stuff out, which means I should be able to go in here and just dig this stuff as need be. I still need to get to that. Oh no, it's going to start to run. Come on, dupes. Just that one piece right up there. Great, it's unreachable. My bad. Ah, that's what I didn't want to ha want to happen. Oh, well, at least we're in, you know, Atmo suits. So we're good to go. Exosuits, whatever we want to call them these days. <laughs> Bubbles came down here and did some research. So you can see that the calculated average output is only going to be 40 grams a second, which isn't huge, but... That's all right. Try to sweep up all of that as need be. Let's see if I can make sure the dupes have a nice high priority on this stuff. The Atmo sensors are the wrong sensors. <laughs> My bad. These need to be temperature sensors. Looks like I'm having a little water build up right there, so I'll just replace those with mesh tiles. But after I build some more insulation. Ah, I kind of did this all wrong. Oh well. Let's make it work. Let's see if I can get the steam to build up down here. <laughs> What's the temperature? Woo, it's hot down there. <laughs> And what are we pumping? Nothing but steam. Ah! I should not have uncovered that as soon as I did. Darn it. Why did I do that? I knew better. Oh well. So this is what you don't want to do? <laughs> Let's see if I can let it run long enough here to, to get back to pulling uh, a vacuum inside of here. I'm curious what's down over here. You know? Let's see what else is down here. We got some... A little bit of a uh, slickster down there. Hey, bud. Ooh, there we go. Got ourselves a molten slickster over here. Can't really see beyond that. Just kind of curious to see if we'll find any sort of volcano or something down there. Oh, great. 
<laughs> just when I finish this, this, this steam vent goes dormant. And it's not going to be active for the next 42 cycles. Well then. Thanks, oxygen not included. Thank you. Today's video is going to be absolutely pointless. Oh well. I'm gonna play around with these doors just a little bit to see if I can do something with them. There we go. One. Ah. There's another one. These doors. What I'm trying to do is just see if I can force the last bit of polluted oxygen out of here. Hey, look at what we got going on up here. It's up to uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Excellent. So it's not quite hot enough to run this turbine right there. Hmm, and I just noticed a big, never put the insulated pipe. So I'll have to try to figure out how to get that in. And I think I could do that by building through the corner right there. If I get rid of that one tile. Yes, yes I can. Aha, take that. Hey, look at this. We're now down to a vacuum down here. So what I can do is flip that. Boop. There we go. This is now a sealed vacuum. So I could get rid of all of this gas pump and everything here and will actually. And then just put insulated tiles right there okay so then i could put a couple of tiles right there just like so and if i do this right i should be able to deconstruct the airlock now i don't think i can sweep that up i think that's just going to be too far away but i'll try i can also deconstruct that one as well mm, that's looking like it's just going to be lost not a big deal but what i can do is is fill in these two tiles now and, and then get rid of these two so that's how I'm able to get rid of a door or something like that and just maintain a vacuum. All right, yeah, so I can't sweep those up. They're just, they are not reachable. However, we can build the tiles, so. Aha. Boom, there we go. Now, if only you wouldn't be dormant for the next 40 cycles. All right, well, let me. <laughs> yeah. Let me just go ahead and do this. And since we have a, another thermal nullifier over here, it just seems to be like the exact same patterns I'm working with over and over again. But there we go. Do one right over there. Oh, shoot. Why not? Just make it in line. There we go. Perfect. And we'll just run an insulated pipe straight across like that. And because we're cool, put in two doors right there. Wish my dupes weren't sick all the time. Maybe I should make a medical bay or a hospital thing. Okay, so once the steam vent is done doing its thing, well, then the liquid will come out of over here, and I'm just going to store it up in some reservoirs for right now. However, I think the end goal here is to do electrolyzers. That'll then run off of that water. I'll probably run off of some water that comes off of this guy right there and that also puts it close by to this oil reservoir so i can pump water into that to make good use of that as well <laughs> all right so i want to get hydrogen down here into this loop so my best source of hydrogen is way up here so we'll just use the power of the super duplicates to build an enormous gas pipeline that will only be used for a little bit and then I'll instantly destruct it once I'm done with it. That is a huge gas pipeline. <laughs> I normally wouldn't do this, but I think these dupes can pull it off in the cycle. Let's see what happens. Wow, look at how fast they're going. Look at that. Mm, we're coming up on the end of the cycle, but we're pretty close to finishing the pipe. All right, one more connection. And yes, it is complete in one cycle. How about that? Okay, so before I enclose this unit, I'm going to want to put some power in there. I also want to put some automation to it. Because this is the type of build that um, I really just only want to run this thing when I need it. So what I've done down here is I've, I've set this to be above 200 degrees, above 225, and above 269. So depending on what the temperature is inside of here, as far as how hot the steam is, I'm going to open up various amounts of doors so that I process less liquid and still kind of maintain a, a, an efficient draw of the power from the heat down here. Now, again, I did a whole tutorial on that, so you can kind of check out the little thing over here just to kind of get the, the breakdown on how exactly that works, because I'm just not going to be able to show you for a good long time here. I have to wait another 35 cycles. So it might be an episode or, episode or two before this thing actually runs. But right now, I'm just kind of cleaning this area up. We're going to deodorize a lot of this polluted oxygen. I think I'll upgrade some of these tiles here to insulate it. There we go. I don't really have any plans to fuel this thing up, but I could. But for right now, there's, there's plenty of cold over there. So, I just have to wait for more and more hydrogen to flow in. Ooh, here we go. Now the temperature's up to 120 degrees Celsius. Hmm? Are you gonna run? Ah, you need to get to 125. Come on now. You can do it. In hindsight, I probably should have put a memory toggle switch down here. So this waited till it got to like 140. And then it would run and it would go back down to 125. So that it would operate in bursts. But you know what? I think it'll work out just fine anyhow. 
Do like to change it now, anyhow. Well, I, I guess not. I could potentially go in here and add it. I really wanted to. This stuff's steam, anyhow. It just end up water over there. Super Meep. That's like the worst place to stand while building this. Had to catch a dupe. Give them one opportunity to get stuck. There we go. Good job, dupes. Okay, good. Got rid of all of that polluted oxygen down here. Just go ahead and seal this thing off. But now it should be obvious. <laughs> it's uh, I just kind of do the same things. Same exact design over and over again. But hey, you know what? When you got a method that works, might as well just make use of it. All right, sweep that guy. And then we'll just build the sides up there. And we're good to go. All right, I think it's about time for another duplicate. We're up to eight, but we should bring it up a little bit more. Viz Crimson, welcome to the base. This will be a great duplicate. Why? Because of a very small bladder. And that means you can cool the base even more. And you can go right up here. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Now, let's just see. Who, who... Does any of these dupes not have... A uh how? -huh. Yep. Kaya doesn't have one. Leon doesn't have one. We need more snazzy suits. Thanks for the heads up, by the way, in the comment section. How's the germs doing in this area? Now that I've put the... Oh, yeah, yeah. The buddy buds over there. Look at that floral scent. Beautiful. It's all over the place. Matter of fact, how's the temperature doing inside here? Oh, look at that. Mmm. Isn't, isn't that radiant cooling looking cool? We're down to 26 degrees over there. And you can see it's a little bit warmer in the middle there. Actually, 31 or so. Hmm. 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 And you can see over here. Ooh, 25 degrees. Oh, that is so nice. I love that. I'm curious to see how long it'll take before, before this heat inside of here just kind of neutralizes with what we have going on out here. <laughs> <laughs> this crimson oh what it's like to be slow here we go <laughs> well, I wonder what would happen if I put the buddy bud right next to the oxygen diffuser would it work to diffuse that throughout the base a little bit more hmm yet another experiment oh well I guess I built up enough hydrogen I don't really need the rest of that anymore well I might leave it there just because it could be really useful later on no, I'll just get rid of the ends of the pipe and just kind of hold on to that for now. I'm guessing there's going to be more more steam turbines to be used. Especially when I start to deal with this stuff. Or if I start to use magma down here. Although you can see that the these are just really, really small pockets of... Hey, look at this thing go. Look at this. So this thing's continuing to run and run and run and run. Perfect. You know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have a way to stop this loop like this loop just keeps oh yeah i do i have it right there let me just turn that off for a little bit what am i storing here steel i have gold iron so let's do tungsten right there now i'm stopping that loop because i have a lot of crude oil down here that needs to be swept up so all of that needs to be delivered so by blocking the system just for a little bit up here I can store up some extra down here in this reservoir. Although it looks like I might just be storing it inside of... Or, or this metal refinery. Okay. There's a chance that I have enough to operate all of these metal refineries. Okay, here's where things get interesting. This natural gas geyser... Ooh, active period... Is now currently dormant. Ooh. So now I'm down to... 300 and something milligrams down here. But up top, I've been able to store 54 kilograms of natural gas. So if this pulls a vacuum, I'm pretty sure this natural gas will just flow back through. We'll see. I, like, I might be able to use an atmos sensor down here at one point uh, in order to detect that the temperature's, uh, pressure's gotten too low and then just cycle a door really quick to let some of that, and just let this thing keep running. Oh man, dude. This is like an entire cycle for you to go get one bottle of oil. This crimson, buddy. You're slow. <laughs> You're really, really slow. We need to put you in a duplicate training center. Thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter, by the way. And thank you to everybody else that's also been supporting me here over here on Patreon. It makes a, a big difference. So thank you guys so much for that. All right, buddy butt experiment. Here we go with the germs. Spread. Spread my germs. Floral sense for everyone. Ooh. And we have yet our, another duplicate. Biker puppy, welcome. Welcome to the base. Take a sniff of that. And then head on over to your cot. Let's see if we can see this stir steam turbine run. It's right up to 126 degrees Celsius. Come on. Come on. Mm, come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ha-ha. 
a little bit of steam right out of that hydrogen. All right, so it's running. I mean, it's not much, but hey, there you go. There was a little bit of power for you. Woo! 9.8 kilojoules. Don't run too much. Okay, so from the looks of it and the warning over here, I have insufficient oxygen generation. So I'm going to need to bump that up here in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. It's a bummer that we didn't get to see this thing run, but you know what? Wait another 28 cycles and we'll see just how well it works. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Peace. Brothgar, out.